guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are all doing really well. I am so excited for today's episode because we are back in the BitLife house and I have way too much fun with this family. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you are too. So let's go ahead and check in on the royal family. I honestly loved last week's episode. If you haven't seen it, I will link it above because I think it is probably my favorite one we have done so far with this family. Um, watching Madison attempt to scale the side of a mountain was pretty entertaining and I loved that the girls showed up in their bathing suits. <laughs> I loved it. The craziest things happen with BitLife and then The Sims. It was just a great combination and all around a great time. I will also do a recap that way you guys can see where we left off. So in the last episode, we ended off at the age of 46 years old. We basically just hung out with our family. We went on a little mountain climbing vacation with our daughters, Lottie and Victoria, and that was a lot of fun. And I think it was really good for Madison because I think she's starting to get to that age where she's like, you know, only so much plastic surgery can make her look young and she's trying to, you know, and she's also hasn't become queen yet. She's kind of like in this middle phase in life where like she doesn't know what's going on. So I think it was really good for her to get out and have some fun with her daughters. So maybe what we should do while everyone is sleeping is we should start off with our royal duties and hopefully we can maybe get ourselves um, a little bit more respect. So we'll go ahead and do a public service. Um, so we publicly declared our country as the best place to live on earth. Ooh, I mean that is a little bit cocky really. I mean, you run the country. <laughs> is it really the best or is it just, you know, looking at the world in a glass view? <laughs> um, and let's do some law review. Okay, so there's no law to review. And I'm actually gonna age her up one more year. Queen Sophie, the queen, has been diagnosed with mad cow disease. Your mother has been diagnosed with mad cow disease, okay? Commercial. Emerald Foods has offered to pay you to appear in an international television commercial. What will you do? Emerald Foods, it's a corporation, international, and they want to pay us two million to do it. What the heck? Let's go ahead and do it. Endorser, look, we got a new reward for that. The camera loves me. You earned two million pounds by appearing in the international television commercial for Emerald Feud Foods. And it was received pretty well, actually. <gasps> As I say that, public outrage. The public has vilified you for appearing in a television commercial. What will you do? Um, uh, Let's do surprise me. Yeah, we denounce the criticism. Honey, I am 47 years old. I do as I please. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry. It was a commercial. Like, get over it. Come on. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to take our mom to the hospital. So we'll go under Queen Sophie. She's 70 now, you guys. Take her to the doctor. Um, I think we would take her to Dr. Campbell. Dr. Campbell's reputation is better. Diagnosis. Dr. Campbell has established that your mother's suffering from mad cow disease. Uh, okay, so we can select the treatment. Thank you. Dr. Campbell treated your mother's mad cow disease. Phew. Ill advised. Your mother continues to suffer from mad cow disease. Oh my gosh, you guys. Maybe we'll be queen sooner than we think. I'm so bad. Your mom's dying. Oh my gosh. Go get my crown and shine it, butler. <laughs> <laughs> I got a seat and I'm gonna take it. <laughs> that is so horrible. Madison, you're such a bad person. <laughs> AKA Samantha. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, we should check to see how old the kiddos are and see if we have to do any birthdays in this episode. Little Duke Edwin, he's five. I think we'll leave him a toddler maybe a little bit longer, but probably by the end of the episode, we'll age him up. Little Lottie is 17. Oh my gosh. Lottie and Duchess Willow is nine. Okay. What about Roland? Oh, Roland is so handsome. He is single and he's still in university. Oh, look. Roland is a pilot trainee at Empire Airways. So he's learning how to become a pilot. And Victoria, of all people, 
um, is pursuing dental school. Like, talk about a uh, switch. I was not expecting that. That's kind of where we're at right now. I think basically what we're going to do is probably invite over mom and see how she is feeling because she is suffering from mad cow disease. And I have a feeling because the treatment didn't work from the doctor that we might be moving to the castle, you guys. I don't know, we've worked so hard on the house here. I don't really wanna to move to that castle. It is actually really annoying as far as the game is concerned um, to navigate in that big build. So I might uh, switch out the castle for a different castle just because um, this one doesn't work very good. Like there's a lot of bugs with it. You can't walk up and down the stairs. There's all kinds of issues. So if we do end up having to become queen, <laughs> ooh, um, I'll probably download a new castle. If you remember in the last episode, my good friend, Lady Sweetheart Sims, taught me how to make Willow, Willow's health better. So she's in full health. I'm really happy about that. I was so worried about Willow. I do think that, um, Little Lottie, because she is also being groomed to become the new princess. Right now she is a duchess. She is waiting for her mom to gain the heir, uh, gain the throne. She would be next in line. So I do think that she would actually be doing a lot of um, public services in order to get her name out and, you know, kind of become more appropriate. I'm going to get her to come to the computer and I'm going to get her to do some social media. Um, she's the younger generation, so I do feel like the way that she connects with the people is through social media and, you know, doing more live streams and coming up with a different ways to uh, connect with the people and, you know, really see what people are complaining about online. And not only about the royal family, but like in general, like where is she most needed? And I think after she is done that, I'm gonna get her to, on her phone, go add to Simstagram story and also um, check social media again. And then I think we're gonna have her go out with Little Willow um, and do some volunteering. Little Willow is so young, I feel like little Lottie would kind of take her under her wings, especially with, you know, the queen being sick, Lottie would be like, okay, I'll help teach Willow what she needs to learn so you can focus on grandma. And I think the queen is very realistic. I think in general, queens are very realistic. <laughs> um, like she's probably like, you know, we have a lot to discuss. We can't stay, you know, we can't continue this way. You know, I'm really ill. It, ooh. Harrison is still enjoying that um, no clothing lifestyle. Like, come on, dude. I think he might be going through a little bit of a midlife crisis because he is really enjoying it being in the nude. But anyways, back to serious note. I think that Queen Sophie is like, you know, we have to be realistic about this. There's a high chance that they won't have a cure. So we need to be realistic about how we deal with this going forward. First off, we need to report it to the public that I'm ill, but with, you know, we have to be ahead of the newspapers on this. We cannot let people know that, um, we can't have people reading it secondhand. It needs to come from the royal family. So, um, it's going to be up to Madison to kind of navigate the, um, social, the, navigate the public image of the situation. They don't want um, the commoners to feel like the royal family has lost control of the situation because the queen is ill. You know, it's something that's always planned in far in advance, like how the takeover will work and things like that. So she's going to actually take a selfie with the queen um, and they're gonna post an update on all of their um, social media, all their publicists and make sure, like I said, that they are ahead of it. And she is gonna take a selfie with the queen and be like, you know, see, you know, everything's fine. The queen is still able to, you know, run the show, you know, as they always do. Nothing's changed just because she's not feeling well, you know, that kind of stuff. That way the people don't feel like a sense of unrest. Um, oh look, they could do a walk to fight disease. Go on a walk to fight disease, which raises funds for medical research to find a cure. Especially now that they've reported to the public that the queen is ill, the royal family would wanna be taking action to be like, hey, you know, we are activists. We are um, serving the people. We are gonna try to find a cure, not only for uh, the queen's you know, illness, but for people as a whole. So they're gonna go ahead and do their walk for the illness. And I think that it really um, 
speaks volumes to the good-hearted nature of the royal family when, you know, the princesses or the duchesses, if you will, are like willing to go out on a huge walk in the rain, in the mud, and have their makeup smudged. Might give them a little bit more of a real look, you know, more down-to-earth people instead of, you know, super blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, Harrison, can we at least put clothes on in front of the queen, please? But I'm really glad that Madison was able to at least spend some time with her mom and kind of, you know, be ahead of the situation. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna age up Madison one more year. Okay, so it says here, accomplice to Schmerda. After seven years and a million memes, rapper Bobby Schmerda has finally been released from prison. Videos of Bobby with various celebrities are already circulating online. Are, and you begin to wonder who he might collab with first. Um, I have no clue. I don't even know who that is. So we'll just do surprise me. Little Nas. Okay. Don't care. Um, my daughter, Lutch, my daughter, Lut, oh my God, Luchess Dottie. That's what I keep wanting to say. My daughter, Duchess Lottie, graduated from secondary school. Oh, but I do want to try to take mom to the doctor again. We will try Dr. Campbell again. Oh, and second, we'll wait on the diagnosis. Okay, another Sim keeps edging up purposely staying in front of Duchess Lottie. Oh yeah, they want a race. What should Duchess Lottie do? Honestly, she would probably ignore them because she would be the type that's very proper and composed and wouldn't want to get involved. And also the day is not about the Royals getting into a race with someone. It's about bringing awareness to a disease. So I think she would ignore them. It's not a race against others, it's a race against oneself. Duchess Lottie realizes this and doesn't take the bait. She refocuses on the path at hand and finishes the walk with a confident stride. I definitely think that that is definitely what Lottie would do and it says that she has actually gained some emotional control for focusing on her charity walk and ignoring distractions. Aww, so she was a really good mentor for little Willow in that situation. So back to bit life, we can treat mom again for mad cow disease, so let's try again. Hope it worked. Dr. Gam Campbell treated your mother's mad cow disease. Ill-advised, your mother continues to suffer from this disease. Oh, ma. Oh, this little guy is so cute. We really haven't had a, much time to spend time with little Edwin. So I think we'll put this on the floor and let little Edwin come eat this. Go eat your macaroni and cheese. And I think now that the weather is a little bit better, I might take him out to a park uh, with Harrison because I feel like Harrison, you know, his only son has already moved out and he's probably feeling like, oh, I miss having my boy. So I think it'd be nice for these two to have a little bit of bonding time before we age up little Edwin. Look at it. He looks a little devious. I'm not gonna lie. I think he might be the more um, irresponsible of the royals. I'm really curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Like, I know Edwin is still young, so it might be too early to make this decision, but I am curious to see where you guys would like to see this go. Like, do we end it once Madison dies, or do you want to see this continue on with the other characters? Um, or should we start a whole nother bit life series? We can do one that's not royal. We could do one that is, you know, just bit, bit life with no sims. Um, and if we do continue on with um, this family, who would you like to be the one that we follow through with? Do you want to continue with Lottie, with Victoria, with Willow, with Edwin? I would think that it would probably be one of the royal kids instead of the other two, even though we do love them. So yeah, I'm just curious to hear your thoughts on that. Let me know. Um, we are getting a text. Roland would like to come over and hang out. Of course that's okay. Maybe all of the boys can travel together and have like a cute little guy date. The girls got to do that in the last episode. Uh, there's little Roland, you guys. Oh my gosh, is he not so cute? Oh, he looks kind of sad, baby. All right, so we are going to travel with the toddler and with Roland. Okay, so we have arrived at the park. It is a little dull, but that's okay. I'm gonna let him come over here and crawl through and play in the ball pit. And maybe we will get Harrison to do some grilling. Um, ooh, let's have some baked potatoes. Ah, I want a baked potato. And little Edwin is coming over to the ball pit. I was hoping that 
um, Roland and his father would be able to have like a nice visit together, but it looks like Roland's like, yeah, dad, I'm not getting my hair wrecked in the uh, rain, sorry. <laughs> so Harrison is watching over him. Oh, he scraped his knee. Poor little guy, it's okay. Uh, I think it's nice that he gets to spend some time. This is probably, yeah, he's getting up there in age, so I highly doubt that he's going to be having any more sons. <laughs> oh, look, Roland's back now. And I think that Harrison would want to say to Roland just basically how, you know, your grandmother's sick, and I just wanted to let you know ahead of time, a lot of people are going to be asking you, you know, for interviews and for, you know, information on the queen's health. Um, you really need to downplay it, and your mother is kind of dealing with the situation, so just try to, you know, divert the subject and stay really positive. Um, but on reality, I also want you to be aware that it's most likely realistic that she's probably not going to do too well so it would be best for you to be able to you know go visit her and check in on her so Roland's like okay I appreciate you letting me know dad I promise I won't say anything I, you know no amount of money can buy me mom can pay for everything I need I don't need any brand deals <laughs> so they had a nice visit little Edwin was able to have fun but I do think it's time to send him home because it's getting pretty late oh my gosh Harrison put your clothes on he doesn't even have low hygiene and he's like, I need to shower in the rain. Put your clothes on, you're at the park. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's the next morning. Madison is in a particularly bad mood. Harrison's in a very flirty mood. He is feeling flirty. I'm gonna let him come downstairs and cook a birthday cake for little Edwin. Oh, he wants to make flirty heart cookies. So I have a Harrison making the birthday cake, so it shouldn't be too much longer. Oh, perfect. So he's required, he, it, it is a new skill day and he actually received a new skill. So he's having a pretty successful day. Um, I'm actually gonna get him to go more help blow out candles with this little cutie. Cause it says here in BitLife that Edwin is, He's six now, so I think that's a good time to make him a little kiddo. And I am going to, after Vic, after little Lottie is done, she also has to uh, blow out her candles because she's actually a young adult now. And then she's probably gonna take out um, Willow again, doing some more uh, volunteering and social networking and all of that stuff. So here it is, little Edwin is blowing out his candles. I know it seems kind of quick, but... That's bit life for ya. <laughs> you won't be a wheel cutie? I bet you are. Um, I can't see. Okay, Duke Edwin has aged up. And, oh, he also got the proper trait. I don't think so. Ooh, let's give him the adventurous trait. These Sims seek out new and unique experiences. I think that would be pretty fun. And we'll give him the motor um, aspiration. And we'll get Lottie to blow out her candles so she be can so she be can so she be can she can become a adult. Oh, she's taking a selfie for social media. She's just like her mom. Oh, little Lottie, she's so cute. I love Lottie. It's just the butler and her sibling. Madison's a little bit preoccupied with life. So she is a perfectionist. She is proper. Um, I think she would probably be very neat. Let's give her neat. I do think that that would be her. Oh, she's so cute. She looks basically the exact same. Um, so I'm going to go into create a sim and we will give little see Edwin up close and give him his makeover. Does he have glasses? We should check. Edwin does not have glasses, so I think we can be okay to leave him the way he is. Um, and neither does Willow. So far, Willow has escaped the curse of the glasses in the family. Okay, so here is little Edwin. Oh yeah, he'll be cute once I'm done with him. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go give him a makeover and I will be back. All right, you guys. So I just finished Edwin's makeover and 
I'm just channeling inner bad boy man like I just think he is going to be the one that might be going a hundred percent against the Royals rules um I think he's like the bad parts of Madison in in one like Madison was very wild as a young lady and I think that is Edwin through and through so I tried to keep with the yellow vibes still um, as much as possible especially with his formal like when am I gonna get a chance to put someone in a yellow suit if not now I don't know <laughs> so I went ahead and just kind of went with a bad boy look I love this outfit I think he looks so cool in that um, and yellow for most of his looks so yeah so there is little Edwin aged up Duchess Lottie looks the exact same so there's not much to really see there so let's go ahead back into the game so we're back in Edwin's room now and I kind of just made it more adult. I gave him a bigger bed. I gave him a place to do his um, homework and play games and he's got like a TV couch sitting area room. I gave him a baby Yoda and as I was thinking about it he's always been kind of into space sea themed things like he has um, these weird robots on his wall and stuff so maybe in the future Edwin might be interested in space but I'm not sure yet because um, BitLife makes and calls the shots. <laughs> um, so yeah there is Edwin's new updated bedroom. There he is in the game in real time. Oh he's gotta pee. Okay so uh, there he is. What a little cutie. I think we will go ahead and age up Madison one more year and then I think we will probably end the episode. Welts! While taking off your underwear, you notice some welts on your body. What will you do? Oh my gosh, go to the doctor. I don't know, Dr. Campbell's reputation's high, but he hasn't been able to cure my mother yet, so I don't know. Uh, well, let's try. Oh, so he thinks we have hives. Okay, so treat me. Hope it worked. He has administrated, administered treatment for hives. Time to experiment. You continue to suffer from hives. Ugh, I'm so done with my car. Whatever. Okay, Duchess Willow started secondary school. Newly discovered precious natural resources have been found in Venezuela, resulting in an export rivalry with Bolivia. Oh, we are still suffering from hives, so maybe we should go to a holistic, a holistic doctor. Let's seek alternative homeopathic. Okay, so we're gonna go see a homeopathic doctor uh, for 225. What did they even do? You were treated by the homeopathic doctor. Okay, well my health is up 100%. I don't know if I'm still suffering from hives, but my health is high. And we need to take Ma to the doctor also. Okay, so she's still suffering from mad cow disease, so we'll treat her one more time. No luck. Your mom continues to suffer from mad cow disease. Oh, ma. That makes me sad. We are 49 years old. Little Lottie is not so little anymore. She is a young adult finally. She is still working on gro being groomed for the royal family. Madison is still in, in preparation for the inevitable with her mother being very ill. And um, obviously stress has brought on hives for her because she's been really stressed about her situation with her mom. Last but not least, we had little Edwin age up. Ooh, he is loving his room. He is going to bed. He is gonna go have a nap in his new big bed. <laughs> what a cutie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, please consider giving it a big thumbs up and letting me know in the comments below what you guys think. Please let me know what you guys think we should do going forward after Madison passes away. I kind of want to prepare um, for what we should do do you guys want to continue it on as like a legacy series where we follow the next in line? Do we want to start a new BitLife family? Or maybe you guys just want to see BitLife videos on their own. I am open for any and all ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I am going to say bye for now. Yeah, I shook off all the bad vibes cut me.